Hello, traders. All US equities were a little bit mixed last night with the, the Moody's downgrade being uh, counteracted by so the falling yields and a, a bit of improved risk sentiment. So saw uh, US major US indexes finish uh, some up, some down. But uh, let's have a look at the Forex market. The Aussie dollar saw gains uh, came within a whisker of that 64 uh, key level there after some hawkish leaning commentary from RBA assistant Governor Kohler, who noticed that the decline in inflation was more gradual than previously thought. The Aussie also helped by a weaker US dollar improved risk sentiment. So that 64 level will be one to watch. If we see some resistance there, maybe it'll, it'll keep in that bottom half of the range. If we can get through and get some support, we may set test the top half. Uh, dollar yen was an interesting one, rose to peaks of around 151.92. Uh, and then we saw a really sharp move lower at exactly 10 uh, a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, which is a sa the same time they have intervened in the past. So it did raise that suspicion as dollar yen fell from that 151.92 level very rapidly down to about 151.15, so almost 80 pips there. Um, if it was a Bank of Japan intervention, then it seems maybe that 152 level may be the line in the sand. So one to watch for the yen traders. Um, adding to the suspicion it may have been an action from the bank as well was some comments from Japanese Finance Minister Suzuki only a few hours before who was uh, lamenting uh, these unsustainable moves in the FX market. Um, the other interesting market last night was gold. It rallied pretty well, about $10 US an ounce, uh, recouped about half of Friday's losses after finding some good support there at the October low to high 38.2 FIB retracement level. Um, that level also pretty much matches up exactly with the 200-day moving average. So a couple of big technical levels there. Um, obviously, a weaker US dollar falling yields did help gold along, I guess, I think, with some uh, lingering safe haven demand. Economic announcements today, uh, really the only big one would be the claimant count out of the UK, which uh, certainly be one to watch for cable traders.